welcome back friends in the previous video we have seen about the process state and q okay so now the question arises very important question that if we process in, in the new state okay new state so it is in the job queue job queue so if the process wanted to transfer to the ready state ready state or you can say ready queue okay so how will this transfer happen how the process transfer from this to this it happened with the help of a scheduler what is called scheduler and that is called process scheduler so there are basically three type of process scheduler three types of process scheduler okay we will discuss each of them in today's video so before discussing about the cellular we have to discuss about one main term that is called degree of multi programming degree of multi programming what this degree of multi programming means this means number of process in main memory main memory so i hope you understand degree of multi programming means number of process in main memory so let us now discuss about the three types of scheduler scheduler one is long term scheduler long term scheduler what the work of long term scheduler so basically if a job in if a process in the job queue job queue or in the new state to transfer the process from job queue to the ready queue or the ready state ready state we use long term scheduler long term scheduler its work is to increase the to increase degree of multi programming degree of multi programming how it increase the degree of multi programming basically it transfer job process from job to ready queue so the number of process in ready queue increases number of process in the main memory get increases due to this the it increase the degree of multi programming and its work is to effectively transfer the process from one queue to second queue and it transfer on the basis of mixing mixing different job mixing different job what does it mean mixing different job so basically in the job queue let's suppose there are three process 1 2 3 first require io second require io third require calculation okay what does it mean let's suppose first require first require your printer second require scanning a page okay third require calculating a mathematical equation so if scheduler transfer first and second job okay in the queue so what will happen the cpu is wasting because these two are job done by the io so cpu is wasting here its time so that's the why always scheduler think and transfer job in such a way that the, it is a mixture of io and calculation work so that one job is done by cpu one job is done by io things so always the cpu is working it does not happen that cpu is sometimes just free free so for this thing long term scheduler is used in such a way that it transfer the mix of both the job io and calculation from job queue to the ready queue and it increase the degree of multi programming now the second type of job is short term scheduler what is short term scheduler what it will do it will do it transfer job from ready queue ready queue to run state run state it transfer job from ready queue to run state and this scheduler is known as short term scheduler short term scheduler and what is the work of this scheduler this scheduler work to increase the efficiency of efficiency of cpu cpu as it transfer the work to the cpu the cpu work more and more by this mean 
CPU efficiency get increases but here degree of degree of degree of multi programming get decreases as compared to short term schedule because here the process transfer from multi programming to the run state so degree of multi programming get decreases so what is the work of short term schedule it transfer process from ready queue to run state increase the efficiency of cpu but due to which degree of multi programming get decreases now the third type of cellular is called medium medium term cellular what does it do so basically if a job is in the run state okay now if a work related to io comes so it go to the waiting state waiting state for io work io work so what happen sometime io get filled so the job get transferred to the suspended waiting area transfer to the suspended waiting area waiting area so transfer of job from waiting area to the suspended waiting area waiting area to suspended waiting area this work is done by the cellular that is known as medium term cellular medium term cellular cellular okay and the, the degree of multi programming degree of multi programming here is the lowest because 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 this schedule transfer a job out of context out of context how it is transfer the job in the out of context because if a job come in the suspended state so it again go to the ready state so the degree the number of job in the main memory get decreases here more frequently than in any of the two above schedule so when any question come which schedule has the lowest degree of multi programming it's the medium term schedule medium term schedule which has the lowest multi degree programming so now let's suppose to draw conclusion long term schedule short term schedule medium term schedule here it transfer job process from job to ready queue it transfer ready queue to run it transfer waiting area to suspended waiting suspended waiting okay here degree of multi programming is highest it's low or here degree of multi programming is the lowest so i hope you understand the all the three things long term cellular what is short term cellular and medium term cellular their work is to transfer the process from one running state to the other state and it will happen with the help of cellular i hope you understand this topic meet me in the next video